Hi everybody, welcome back to Day Z, welcome back to Chernos, and I've got a little bit of a treat out here for server owners on Xbox, PlayStation and PC as well, and that is a rather fabulous um, custom structure um, called the Hydro Electric Trader. Now, what I've done is I've adapted the Hydro City Trader Dam PC mod um, by simply uh, loading the supply.dze file into Daisy Editor and exporting a custom object JSON and the loot files as well, the map group proto, and I've also done map group pos, uh, sorry, map group pos and map group proto, so you can spawn stuff in there. This is all very kindly down to N10248 from the Essex Reapers traders who built this along with another chap. Um, called Reaper 1 of 4, and it really is very, very impressive indeed. Now, on the Steam Workshop, and I'll put the link to this in the description below this video, he goes through how to set it up as a Dr. Jones PC mod for a trader. So the idea is you have the structure, and there's some Dr. Jones PC mod traders in there, but it's a really cool structure in and of itself as well. So what you'll also find below this video in the description is a link to my GitHub and a link to my Mega both linked to the same files because what I've included here is the files that you get with the PC mod anyway but there's also the readme um, and what's important here is the trader base uh, dash a uh, trader dash base uh, dot JSON that's the custom object thing that will spawn the this amazing area in um, but also go through the readme because the readme also includes the XML snippet um, that is going to go into your map group pos.xml so that will make uh, uh, loot spawn naturally in these areas not all these areas because some of them don't sp spawn loot but some of them do I've just copied and pasted basically the the whole thing um, and also keep keep going down because underneath all of this stuff there's also the map group proto entries for the underground places because being chernerous the map group proto for, Ch for Chernus doesn't include the Livonia uh, objects that are used in this particular object spawner file. So there's the land underground storage, workshop, uh, prison and hospital. So they're there as well. Also, you put them into your map group proto. And also, underneath there at the bottom, I've added in a little types.xml entry. There you can add the punched card to your uh, Chernus types.xml and it'll spawn in the contaminated areas because there is a secret area right at the bottom um, of this um, uh, structure um, that has, uh, you, you can add a punch card lock to it as well. Now, not only is there this area here, but there's also, <laughs> there's a, well, let's, let's change the weather. Um, there's also these uh, hydroelectric wind turbines at sea. There's this extra ship that spawned in. These little loot will spawn here. And if we go to the back, actually, so loot will spawn inside these buildings and these towers. Um, but you can go in here, and there are all these little side doors and entrances that take you deeper and deeper into it. Until eventually you'll get to, if you find it, there is a secret area. Um, that at the moment, I don't think it spawns anything in. Um, uh, that's going up. Let's go down here. We can go down here. All right, this leads out of it again, I think. Let's have a look. Come down here. Around here. All right, that leads out, but I don't think you can get over there might be able to I'm not sure but there is and I'll, I'll let you discover it because if you load it up into the dot DZ editor uh, if you if you load up in dot DZ editor sorry the Daisy editor on the right hand side where you have all the assets just look for the one that is the underground um, panel I think it's called and then search for that it's somewhere kind of underneath this structure in the middle you can go down and find it and you'll see the area that I'm talking about so you'd have to want to put a punch card uh, reader on the wall there and then you'd want to probably in the area that's behind that door you'd want to either manually drop some cool stuff in there um, or I guess you could create a new Mac group proto but I would probably just manually drop some cool stuff like an M79 launcher or the king in yellow's yellow motorbike helmet or I don't know some pox grenades that, that sort of stuff you could put down there 
Um, but obviously you'll probably want to customize this to yourself but it really is an amazing piece of work it is very very well made now I've only had a chance to test this on PC so I don't know how well this water will work sometimes it doesn't work very well the water on console um, but if it doesn't you could always go into the DZ what do I call, keep on the DZ editor the Daisy Daisy editor and um, you could just delete the Get rid of the water not have the water there at all that would uh, that would be fine you could you know pretend it had all kind of drained away underneath here of course there is there is a town <laughs> so you do still get some zombies spawning in there and loot does spawn in down there um, but yeah what an amazing what an amazing piece of work this is so many 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 thanks have to go to um n10248 and the Essex Reapers and uh, Reaper 104 for creating such an amazing object and sharing it with us and saying yes to me allowing to create a custom object spawner which is very good of him as well so that console users can use it as well. Anyway, that's enough from me. Remember all the links will be in the description below this video. If you enjoyed the video, hit like, comment, and subscribe and I will of course see you again soon.